Dinky do me hearties, there you all are. How fantastic is this? It's uh, Sunday evening, early Sunday evening, 20 past six in British summer time. So that's one hour ahead of Greenwich Mean Time for you. Come and join us throughout the world, of course, for a little bit of chat during all this pandemic and lockdown and what have you. And come and have a bit of fun, a bit of a wee laugh with your old pal Scotty McClure. That's what I say. Hello, Scotty. How are you today? Thank you. YBN Dinky Do. Please follow me as soon as you come on because we've got so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. As always, these lives are very, very popular nationally and internationally. So come and join us. Hi, mate. Hi, Weirda. Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, you notice I said Weirda. You seem very nice. Well, it's very kind of you to say so. Um, hey, Dinky Do. Dinky do, hello Sarah, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Robert Spence, a very good evening to you, sir. Good to have you with us, and dinky do. Welcome to Scotty McClue, dinky do, Sarah. And uh, looks like Uncle Albert from Fools and Horses. I see what you just did there. Very, very good. You're mad with it tonight? Yes, I've just had a hot chocolate. Woo! Yes, if you want a proper high, then the trick, of course, is to never, ever, ever have anything except uh, nothing. Toss nothing, and then you will be, woo! Absolutely away with it. Fantastic. We like that. We love it. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Dinky do. So there we go. Now then, hello, hello, hello. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Very kind of you. There we are. Who have we got here? Hello, Scotty. From the old times, says Alexa. Dinky do, Alexa. Ooh, talking of Alexa. Alexa, play Scotty McClure on YouTube. There we are. Excellent stuff. One or two wee trolls on. Do you still work here? Yes. What's your pronouns? All that sort of nonsense. Now, away you all go to uh, something where you're used to watching junk. This is far, far, far too big for you, I say to the trolls. So there we go. Do you like football? Um, well, I don't really watch it, to be quite honest with you. The King of Banter. May I have your thoughts on what happened to Lord Lucan? Well, I suppose he is uh, is dead because the title has moved on. So I think he's no longer with us. If you could share the video and follow us, guys. We're very, very big on uh, getting some followers I have hundreds of thousands of viewers. What's your team? My team uh, consists of yourself and everybody else watching TikTok. That's my team. Excellent stuff. Now, there we go. We don't really do football on here. We're kind of a bit advanced for that. You know what I mean? Mon the well. Yes, is that the wishing well? <laughs> I like your hat. I thank you very much. Do you like the badge? Scotty McClue says, dinky do. There we are. I'm from the planet Zarg. Ah, very good. We haven't had many on from Zarg, so I'm very glad you're here. Uh, follow us as soon as you can, guys. We need to get followers. We need to get these numbers up, 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 up. There we are. Do you like eating Bombay mix? I do, John, but it does make your moo a wee bit hot. Is that your son in the picture behind you? No, that's me. That's me. So there we are. That was me just a few weeks ago. Uh, so definitely, absolutely. Uh, keep these people up to date, folks, will you? Hey, Vicky, you all right, mate, says Callum. I am Callum. Yes, I'm very, very all right, in fact. So there you are. The 6th of May, SNP out. Yes, out voting. I would think so. Everybody will be out voting for the SNP of the 6th of May, I would imagine, James. But I'm not political, so I don't really do any of that. But I'll leave you to do it. If you're a big SNP man, then in the interest of balance, I mention everybody else, the Greens, Alba, the, um, what's the other ones, Conservative, the Labour, that sort of idea. So just in the interest of balance. Very, very important. Now, um, who have we got here? What countries have you been to, Scotty? Oh, quite a lot, but I'm not very well travelled abroad, very well travelled within the UK, but I've been to Scotland, I've been to England, I've been to Ireland, I've been to Northern Ireland, I've been to Wales, 
Uh, where else have I been? I've been to Germany. I've been to Spain, to Holland, to Portugal. Um, have I been to Spain? No, I've been to Portugal. So there we are. I've been to Greece. Uh, that's all. I've been to Belgium, France. Do you think Holland? Do you think the JFK assassination, Austria? Do you think the JFK assassination was a conspiracy? And oh, if so, by whom? It might just have been a rogue gunman that didn't like JFK. You know, it's 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 quite possible that sort of thing. So I mean, it's all very well to do conspiracy theories, but we'll never know because the gunman's dead as well. That's the thing. I mean, what does everybody else think? It's it's worth a little bit of discussion. Um, you know, JFK was a fabulous, fabulous president, and he was going places, you know, 46 years of age. Have you lived in Scotland your whole life, Scotty? No, not at all, King of the Court. Um, only lived in Scotland for a bit of my life. I've worked in England a lot, lived in London, lived in Preston, lived in Newcastle, lived in, uh, where else have I lived? Manchester, Sheffield, twice. Uh, that sort of thing, you know what I mean? There we go, fantastic. Do you think Nessie exists? Well, of course she does. What was your job, says Nathan? Uh, well, it's still my job. Uh, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. That will always be my job. So there we are. Uh, everyone's so serious nowadays. Well, this is why we invented this live on TikTok, because I felt the news is too depressing for people's health. The television is too depressing for people's health. The radio is actually quite depressing as well. So I thought to myself, I'll go on and we won't have any of that stuff. We'll forget all that nonsense and we'll just enjoy ourselves having a bit of comedy. So that's what we're doing here. Excellent stuff. Brilliant list. Have you been to the moon? Oh, a few times. I am an original lunar. You know, you might say loony, but it's lunar. You've been everywhere in your mind. Oh, still going places in my mind as well. So Scotland didn't fight independence like Ireland did. Do you agree? Well, I think Scotland should have ignored what was coming out of Westminster, which was the opposition, because Westminster wants to keep Scotland because Scotland's a cash cow and keeps Westminster in the custom, the style it's accustomed to. So Scotland sends Westminster 75 billion quid. Scotland needs to take that money and spend it on itself for a bit, rejuvenate its economy. Scotty, I followed. So there we are, absolutely. Um, I've missed you, specific toes. Thank you. Um, wish me a prostate biopsy on Wednesday. Wish you one. Wish you. Wish you'll be okay. I would imagine you mean by that. Are you missing the Mexican from the old phone? In oh yes. Arsenal or Tottenham? Love them both, actually. But uh, I'm a big Gunners fan, of course. How do you feel about Prince Philip dying? Well, I announced it within a few minutes of it coming from Buckingham Palace. So most people consumed that from Scotty McClue. There you are. So you'll get it um, on TikTok video there. You'll see it. I always managed to get rescued from boating mishaps. I'm very pleased to hear it, Thunder Firefly. There we go. You do a great job, Scotty. Keep going. All the best from the Black Isle. We love the Black Isle. Are you up there with Och and Rosmarche and Manloche? Lovely part of the world. Dinky do, I say, to the Black Isle. And then when you go round the other side, you get all these other beautiful places. Where Barbara, uh, Jemimaville. Yes, and is there Barbaraville as well? There we are. And uh, you've got uh, Rosmarkey. Rosmarkey. I remember staying in the hotel at Rosmarkey. Loved it. I have a bath every Friday, whether I need it or not. Crazy man. You're splashing out. You should conserve water and just have one a month. That's what I say. What are your interests? My interests are your interests. Anything you want to talk about? I'll talk about it with you. There were followers, guys. Now, uh, beer, we don't really want that kind of nonsense on here. So that's that's trolling. 
Yeah. That's trolling. We're, we're a joyful stream. What are your pronouns? We never, ever ask any pronouns. Cromarty. Of course, Maha. Yes, absolutely. Are you just slightly insane? Not at all, crazy man. No, 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 no. Not slightly. Right. Who do we hear? Do you like cats? I love them. Absolutely adore them. Good afternoon, Scotty. It says Marqueris. Marqueris, a very good afternoon to you. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, as soon as you come on, can you follow me, please? We're very, very short on followers, and it's just laziness. I'm liking your vids, Scotty. Thank you, Lee boy. Can everybody go and like the vids? Make out you need to grow up, please. You're, you're very, very silly. Very, very silly. Silly person. Can you follow us, please, guys, because we're very short, and it would be a terrific thing if you did. I've never known so many people asking pronouns. John Douglas, I'd never heard of this nonsense until I came on here. And, of course, it's very divisive, and it's very rude. You know, you shouldn't do it. I'm Scottish, too. Absolutely. Has anybody tapped that top left? Let me see. I can tell. I have permissions here, you see. And if you've tapped it, I'll be able to tell. So please do. Very, very important. Can everybody follow Scotty McClure? This is fast becoming the world's top TikTok live. So, you know, you're really into something big here. The man, the myth, the legend. I thank you, Ms. Bob. I've had a few hearts on the vids today, Scotty boy. I've left a few hearts. Lee boy, you are so kind, excellent. That is so good of you. Let me see. If it shows up, can somebody be detailed to go and like some vids, please, and let us know when they've done it. All righty. What's your pronoun connection? You never, ever, ever ask anyone the pronouns. That's so, so divisive. I would be cut to the quick. I'll give you my nouns. My nouns are Scotty McClure. There you are. How fast can you chop a pint? Well, it depends how frozen it is. Did you cover the Profumo story? No, it was just before my time. But thank you for asking. Yes, indeed, Christine Keeler and uh, John Profumo and uh, Stephen Ward, all that sort of thing. Uh, where are you from? I'm from TikTok. Uh, now, there's an idiot shouting. Where do we hear this, guys? Up the Irish Republican Army. Now, the Irish Republican Army have been out of business for, oh, 100 years, you know. I mean, there was a modern one that went out of business maybe 20, 25 years ago. But this guy's still shouting that. Do you know, it's like me going out shouting, up, 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 the Queen Victoria. You know, that's a, there's a guy shouting, up the RA. Now, that's the Royal Artillery. That's a British regiment. Up the Royal Artillery. There you are. Did you hear? Um, yes, yeah, so sorry about that. I did, Stacey. Yes, I did. Yeah, so there we are. So don't shout that stuff or I'll have to ban you. That's the last time we want to see that nonsense on here. Nobody, but nobody supports that nowadays. I believe there's a few thugs that fancy themselves as gangsters. There we go. Up the Royal Artillery. There we are. Excellent stuff. Right. Um, now, who have we got here? I'm sorry, Scotty. I didn't know asking your pronouns was rude. No, I think it's a kind of in thing at the moment. But if you think about it, we're very inclusive on here. So it doesn't matter what anybody. Oh, no. That happened early. How do I get this back, guys? This happened to me earlier. The phone fell, and how do I get, how do I reduce it again? Um, anybody know how we can bring this back? Oh, there we are. That's all that's needed. Uh, no, no, it's not a problem. I don't mind connection. Please don't, please don't worry. But it's just that. Why is that falling over? Hang on a second, guys. I think we're a wee bit top-heavy. There we are. Um, no, it's just, it's it's one of these in things. Do you see what I mean? And we don't actually want that going on because we're all inclusive. Nobody coming on here has to say what they are. They don't have to justify themselves. They come on if they've got a handle, then we will shout them out by their handle. And that's what makes this the most fantastic, modern, up-to-date, 
fast moving TikTok live on TikTok. Guys, can everybody follow me, please? That's it there. Follow Scotty McClure. If you wonder what you're watching, what you've stumbled upon, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the well stop broadcaster. We're live on TikTok. Dinky do. Follow, like, share the now. Enjoy the videos and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And follow me. Very important. Follow me. There we are. Fantastic. So don't worry about that. So connection, you and I are fine. Scotty, did you ever have a coal fire? I had loads of coal fires. And I had log fires. A lot of hard work. Very few of the patients for it. Well, if you didn't like the coal fire in our house, there was no central heating. Big old stone house. And uh, you got in at four o'clock from the school. And that was when you uh, started putting the fire on. And it used to get almost warm by bedtime. Now, here's Pugs Not on Drugs. The IRA founded my country. No, trust me, your country was founded many, many, many hundreds of thousands of years before there was ever an IRA. Okay? I can see why the IRA was brought into being from the uh, Republican Brotherhood. I can understand why it was brought into being. I, uh, you know, remember um, reading about Michael Collins and uh, James Connolly and, uh, of course, O'Connell and all these kind of things. I can tell you all about that. Eamon de Valera, Dev, you know, that sort of idea. But trust me, whoever stuffed your head full of nonsense, the IRA did not found your country okay news flash la la there we go now what have we got here now what's here do you like penguins it's a very lovely biscuit and i have been known to pick up a penguin i've got to be honest with you i can uh, fess up take the big crowds uh full crowds will be back soon I hope not too early because there are risks with crowds. Absolutely. Guys, can you follow me, please? So there we go. And can you stop talking about the Irish Republican Army? We're getting a bit fed up with that. John, I think I'll maybe just dump you, love, because you're obviously a bit of a troll. Yeah, and you don't know what you're talking about as well. There we are. Nothing wrong with that. Are you from Albania? No, but my friend is from Albania who I was talking to very recently, is Albania not Macedonia? Have I got that right? So there we are. And uh, now, who have we got here? Your granny does that. Pugs, forget all that. Your day has already come. It came about 25 years ago. Okay, so there he goes. Pugs, Brian, he's gone. A dafty. Right, that's that. Very good. Now then, who have we got here? Now there, see this, get the Brits out and that. There's no such country as Britain. So you're either Scottish, English, Northern Irish or Welsh. And there we are. The RA is not the Royal Artillery. It's the Republican Army. No, it's the Royal Artillery. The Royal Artillery was in business way, 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 way before any thuggish terrorist carry on there we are i can tell you that for nothing <laughs> fantastic uh you only know what's in the history books you know nothing of our country i know everything of your country i could teach you about your country nothing to do with history books to do with living there with knowing the people with um hanging around uh, around about places like clonakilty killarney the ring of kerry Absolutely. I could tell you about your country. You know nothing of your country. Trust me. Okay. Otherwise, you wouldn't come out with that cack. So there we are. What countries will be involved in World War Three? Well, we'll never know because by that stage, it will be so far on. There we are. Oh, here's somebody chicking up now. Anything calling me a filthy loyalist. I'm not even political at all. So there you are. So away you go, filthy nothing. <laughs> gone, gone. Right, there we are. Just because I'm teaching them about Ireland, they don't like it. They don't like the truth. 
Uh, wonderful stuff. Now there we are. Northern Ireland going back to a dark place, says Sean. Hopefully not, Sean. I think we've just got a load of wee vandals acting up at the moment. There we are. Guys, can everybody watching please follow me? And can somebody be detailed to go and like the videos? Very, very important. I'm more worried about World War Four because it will be fought with sticks and stones. Well, Brexit has taken us back to the Stone Age. So, you know, we might be back in caves soon. There we are. Unionists to blame for all. Blame what? Unionists to blame for what? Who are the unionists? What are you on about? So there we are. Kendall says, the Irish fed the potato fields fish instead of the people. Hence, many starved. Interesting, yes. The potato blight was just needing a new type introduced. Scotty, uh, I didn't know the Scottish Tartan Army. They tried to blow up the Clyde Tunnel in the early 70s. Yes, I think there was a few dafties about Johnny Boy. There we are. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does indeed. Scotty, do you believe we're alone in the universe? Yeah, alone in the universe. Well, there's about, is it, 8 billion people around, so you can be lonely with others. I can tell you that for nothing. And so there we are. Please say happy birthday to my friend Neil. Do you like tatties? I do. Tell the single mouths to keep their horn in their heat, mate. The potato famine was worsened. Uh, the Brits never helped anyone but themselves. Well, there aren't such a thing as the Brits, Amy. So you'll need to dump that. These are just uh, people that stay on the land mass. Great Britain is the big bit. When you're saying the Brits, you've got the Scottish, the English, the Northern Irish, the Welsh, the Irish themselves at that time, you see. So there we are. So, I mean, I think what you're doing is having a go at humanity. So that's that's the idea. You've had your head stuffed with nonsense, you see. That was why with that cheeky wee midden on there, shouting at me and calling me a loyalist and a filthy loyalist and all that. I'm not anything like that. I'm not any of these things. I was just telling him the truth about his own country, and he didn't like the truth. There we are. That's what it's about. Scotty, what's the most important news stories you've covered? I was in the newsroom when... The Brighton bomb went off. I was just on my way to the BBC and a friend had called in. We were going to a Christmas party and uh, a friend had called in. We were going to do a live Christmas party on radio and a friend had come to pick me up, a journalist. And uh, we were sitting on the couch. I said, do you want me a cup of tea? And just as I was about to get up, he said, well, we better go around about nine, I says, well, it's just after eight. I think that was it, something like that. Anyway, um, then suddenly the telly went, here's an important announcement, Lockerbie. And we went round, of course, the Christmas party had to be cancelled. But I remember standing in the BBC watching everything come in the night of Lockerbie. There you are, all that. And then, of course, Princess Diana, um, I happened to be about to go to my bed on the Saturday. Was it the Saturday morning? And it was about um, half past two, quarter to three in the morning. And instead of going to my bed, something made me say, I'll put on the telly just to see what's happening. And just at that moment, uh, Diana's death was announced. No, in fact, it wasn't her death. I think it was announced that there had been a car crash and Dodi Fayed had died, but Princess Diana had been injured. Something like that. I can't remember exactly. So there we go. Um, what have, we, have you ever slurped a slush putty? Oh, hi. <laughs> Few of these, definitely. No doubt about that. Now then, here we go, the slush puppy, where you get the blue mouth. Uh, Millie, we don't do pronouns, we're all inclusive on here. Um, now, have you ever stroked a beaver? I wouldn't advise that, Arthur, because they do bite. And you, I mean, if you think a beaver can get through a tree trunk, 
in probably a day. Do you see what I mean? So, you know, how, how's your finger going to do? Think about it. There we go. Uh, are you for or against Scottish independence? Well, I'm not really against anything, but I think that Scottish independence, um, I'm not sure I like your handle. I think maybe you should go. Yeah, that's better. Uh, poor soul, he just had an offensive handle there. Uh, what have we got here? You're really pretty. You're gorgeous. I thank you very much. Um, so your views on Jeff Capes is strong guy. Diana, bless her. Um, she was mad at no mark. That's another somebody stuffed your head with nonsense there as well. Diana was, uh, she no longer had the Royal Protection Squad providing her security. She wasn't wearing a seatbelt. She was in a car that was going far too fast in a tunnel that had dangerous, dangerous concrete walls. The driver that was driving her had been drinking. Do you know what I mean? So I think, I'm sorry, but your conspiracy theory doesn't really hold up at all. And some colleagues had to go to Lockerbie. They're still traumatized by the experience. I would think so. Absolutely. Anyway, let's be a lot more cheerful. Um, here we go. It's sad on Prince Edward. It is a lovely man. The whole family, they're a very, very nice family. Scotty, have you ever had a Ford Anglia? No, but my friend had a Mark I Ford console. And uh, 1953. That was an absolute belter. I enjoyed that. I had a friend that had a Ford Angular, Anglia. Being from Canada, never ever pat a beaver. My Canadian brother, you're 100%. Can you all follow us, guys, please? Very short followers, please follow me. Follow, 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 follow. If you're watching, you tap the sign up on your left, and we'll get the follow. Sometimes it's good to have a cuppa. Absolutely. There we are. I love your hat so much. The driver was pashed. He was. Was Diana set up? Um, who by JD? There we go. No, Diana, can I tell you absolutely 100% true story? My mother was still living, God rest her soul. And I remember talking to her, and she was watching uh, Diana with her foot on Dodie Fayette's shoulder. And my mother said, I'm worried about her. And I said, what are you worried about her for? And she said, I think something something will happen to her. She's just the way she's carrying on. And it's true, Diana was being very blasé. So there we are. Beavers are in Scotland. Uh, there we are. Excellent. Will Scotland apologize for this evil part in the British Empire? Well, of course, Scotland has never done anything evil. And, uh, you know, not all of the British Empire was evil. Scotland did administer it. It did, uh, it did run it because the Scots are very, very good at what they do. Very, very clever race, apart from some of the dafties here. So there we are. Up the rah, 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 says Cillian, which obviously went to an English public school. Rah, rah, rah yourself. There we are, dinky-doo, Cillian. Rah, rah, Cillian. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Do you think Russia will invade the Ukraine? I don't know. We don't do politics on here. No, we don't. My first car was a 1980 VW Polo. Good car. 750cc. This was 1999. I loved it. My first car was a 1952 Austin Somerset. And I loved that. Back with William Wallace, my hero. Scotty, what's your opinion on Mary, Queen of Scots? I think she was a wonderful woman. And I think she was a wee soul. She was just a wee darling. And she was treated appallingly by so many people, including the Edinburgh people. She was running about one morning with hardly anything on up the uh, Royal Mile. The people were mocking her. So there we are. Um, what have we got here? The Royal Family broke under not help or hence the flag not at half mast straight away. Um, no, I think what you're missing here, Mark, the flag, uh, you're, you're, you're not understanding the function of the flagpole at Buckingham Palace. Do you see what I mean? 
So there we are. Adana was no longer a senior royal. So that's that's the thing. And um, when the monarch is in residence at the palace, it's the royal standard that flies, is it not? So there we are. Or is it the Union flag? Have you nothing better to do with yourself than be live 24-7? Well, I've a lot more to do with myself, Finn, but I certainly don't go live 24-7. I pop up occasionally. Up the custard creams. I once had a beaver in my car and it definitely did not bite. Well, you're very, very lucky, Arthur. So it could have gone right. If you had a wooden dashboard, it would have demolished that. Diana was sacrificed as an ancient... Oh, who's this guy? Wait a minute. Jarvie, bring me the bottle of what you've taken. You know, you know when somebody takes something that doesn't agree with them, the doctor says, please try and bring the bottle into the surgery with you so we can see what's been taken. Well, that's the stage I'm at with you. Absolutely sorry, but I'll have to sacrifice you here. Uh, hello, Scotty. How are you? Xbox Dinky you do. Up the custard creams, says Neve. What's the best part of the UK to look live in? To look live in? I don't know, Orbis World. I don't really know what you mean by that. <laughs> uh, can you PayPal me £10? Nicky, can you PayPal me £10? PayPal.me forward slash Scotty McClue. Uh, I don't think the royal family has a purpose no more. Well, of course they have, Cillian. They always will have. You see, what you're not understanding, the royal family are, they are, how can I say it? They represent the cause, right? The crown is our symbol of authority. The royal family, the queen, the monarch, is the custodian and curator of the crown. That's the function of the royal family. The fact that they're very, very hardworking and do about 500 gigs a year each and bring in fortunes, they don't cost us anything. These are all myths. And the half-witted idiots that go, oh, they're taken from us and they're taken with tax. And just rubbish. Rubbish. Total rubbish. You need to listen to Scotty McClue. So they're all family will always have a purpose. And in Scotland, we've had a monarch for 2,347 years. So we're not going to be giving that up, are we? I've got a flagpole. Good for you, Arthur. You pop it up and uh, get uh, the flag at half-mast. If the Queen's in residence, the regal flag remains high. When you say the regal flag, you mean the Union flag, do you? The uh, fact that Scotland isn't obsessed with immigrants like England tells they've moved on. Well, no, you see, Scotland was depopulated by England. Yes, by social injustice. Why does Scotland not fight for its freedom? Like Southern Ireland, I think you'll find it did. This year is the, wait till I see now, we're just coming up to the anniversary of Culloden. What about that? There we are. Um, follow us, please, guys. Uh, Leighton, that is just complete rubbish. Zero, zero evidence. And we know that did not happen. In fact, there was even a court case to prove it. Okay. Hello from Dublin. Hello, hello, how are you? Yes, the Union flag, Scotty. That's the one. Well done. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. I didn't know who Philip was until he died. Well, Rudy, there's a lot of people who don't know about things, so please don't beat yourself up. And he was nearly 100, you know, and by that stage, a lot of people, he'd retired, was it four years ago? I think he retired at 96. Outstanding man. I don't know you, but I like you. Choco, I thank you. I don't know you, but I like you. I'm sitting a wee dram dimpy. Sorry, wait, I'm sipping a wee dram dinky. 12-year-old Macallan double cask. What's your tipple? My tipple is Scottish water. Mmm. Oh, that's lovely. 
There we go. It amazes me the half-wits that come out with conspiracy theories when there's absolutely no evidence to back it up. <laughs> very, 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 very strange. Um, now, who we got here? Byron says, I'm your neighbour. No, you're not, Byron. You're telling a wee pork pie. I learn a lot about Scotland, where I was born, uh, on here from you. God bless. Not at all, JD. I'm delighted. Uh, a very, very happy birthday. Yes, I've done some research, and I find you're a lovely person. Chocobocky. Thank you for that. You're very, very kind. Um, how much... Did the Queen's Palace renovation cost the taxpayer, Scotty? Well, you see, it's not really the Queen's Palace. It's the administrative headquarters for the United Kingdom, which is four countries, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. And any money for renovating the palace is a national asset. That palace cost £5,000 to buy from the Duke of Buckingham, all right, in the 1700s. Was it 1700s? 38 or something, I can't remember. Anyway, it's 463 rooms in it. And uh, any money for renovation is money very, very well spent. That's like saying, how much did that hospital cost? Do you see what I mean? It's It belongs to the taxpayer. So it's not the Queen's Palace. It's where the Queen operates from because she's the head of, uh, of the countries of the UK. She's the head of state. And that's the state headquarters. So not a problem. And remember that the Royals bring in £2 billion a year minimum to the ex direct to the Exchequer. Then there's trade on top of that. Tourism, of which Buckingham Palace will benefit, is £210 billion. If you want a wee moan about costs and money wasted, Two hundred billion pounds was spent on Brexit with absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, to show for it. So let's just sober up when it comes to spending money on the royal palaces. There we are. Do you drink and brew and wear a kilt? Not at the same time. So there we are. Scotty, it's a free country. Lots of people love the royals. And the royals are not great role models. The royals are outstanding role models, Johnny. The Queen and Prince Philip could not have been finer role models. I sometimes wonder what you take, you know. Uh, do you think there's a reason why people don't care as much as another year when they did mean it? Don't know what you mean by that writing to feel. Can't make any sense of that at all. The weather isn't that bad. Sunny where I am right now. Where are you right now? What England did to Ireland was a catastrophe. Well, no, England did some great things to Ireland as well. It wasn't all a catastrophe. I mean, I remember Errol Fitzwilliam in the 1500s was sent back from Ireland for being far too pro-Catholic. Queen Elizabeth didn't like it. So there we are, that sort of thing, at the time. No, no, England did some wonderful things to Ireland. Let's not kid ourselves. But there were one or two catastrophes, as there were with everything. I mean, you could say the same about India, Africa, Scotland, you know, all that, Wales, you know. So Scotland committed uh, terrible war crimes in the British Empire. Do you agree? Uh, no, no, Scotland did not commit terrible war crimes. Absolutely not. Scotland has never, ever committed a war crime. There we are. And um, my grandpa used to speak of William Wallace like he was there. Well, maybe your grandpa could see him. Uh, Leighton, that is just rubbish and you know it. 41% of Scots and 55 of English still support the monarchy. I would think you'll find that 95% support the monarchy, but they don't find it fashionable. And when the monarch has served as long as Queen Elizabeth has, young people are uncertain about it. With the same thing, if you look back in history, most people don't read their history books. That's why they don't understand what they're talking about. That's why your wee Irish guy got upset earlier when I was explaining to him about his own country because he was living in ignorance. Most people are. 
the race long in darkness have seen a great light. And um, so what were we actually saying here? Oh, yes, yes, supporting the monarchy. So if you look back at Queen Victoria's reign, at the end of it, remember she took over when she was 18. She reigned for 60, was it 67 years. She took over in 37. And she died in 1901. So what would that be? She was born in 1819. She died in 1901. So she was 82 when she died. Yeah. And she'd reigned uh, from 1819. Sorry, she reigned from 1837. So 63. She'd reigned for 64 years. Now, Her Majesty has reigned for... Is it 68 years? So Her Majesty is the longest reigning monarch. So very young people, say you're eight, you've missed the first 60 years of the Queen's reign. And to a lot of young people, the Queen will just be a very nice elderly lady. Yeah, they won't quite understand. Whereas the Queen, when I was wee, was... She was just a young lady. She was she was brilliant. They were beautiful. Philip and Her Majesty were just absolutely stunning as well. They were they were film stars, you know. Uh, what do you think of the IRA? Well, I can see why it came into being in the uh, early nineteen hundreds, culminating with the um, the post office in O'Connell Street in nineteen sixteen. Um, so I can see what it was doing, but. Uh, you know, it, it, it completely split itself. Um, I mean, the murder of Lord Mountbatten, that was really the, the end of the IRA after that. The Birmingham pub bombings, the um, the hotel being blown up in 1984, was it? Uh, you know, these kind of things that people just completely thought, nah. No sympathy for that at all. Just thuggery and terrorism. So, you know, the, they made some very, very bad decisions. I think also if you're a genuine want to be taken seriously as a genuine military force, you put on uniforms, you say, this is my uniform. I'm a lieutenant colonel in the IRA. My name is Sean McWackle and um, everybody knows me. I'm on the front of... You know, the, the major newspapers every day, I'm on the news at night explaining, you know, what our plans are and what we will be doing, that sort of idea. Then I think people think, oh, wait a minute, hang on a minute, this is something else. But just we shifty guys going around, uh, you know, terrorizing folk, nah, thuggery, thuggery. There we are, low-level crime. Philip's sisters were Nazis. No, Philip's sisters were not Nazis, reptile. Philip's sisters were married to people who were aristocrats who were um, taken over into the German army at the time and were high-ranking officers. All right, so get your history right. Philip's sisters were Danish girls who had been brought up in Greece. So nothing to do with being Nazis. Yes, they would visit Windsor Castle because there was at that time the appeasement movement. Now, appeasement was people who said, if we can trust Hitler, we can avoid the war. Churchill said he didn't trust Hitler. Hess came over to see, we think, the king's brother, the Duke of Kent. So people were part of it. And you see, the Nazis at the time were regarded as quite glamorous. A lot of people tried to get sneaked into the Munich rallies and things like that. The Nuremberg rallies, you know, that sort of idea. My birthday's on the 19th of April, I can't wait. Are you part of the IRA? Well... I wouldn't tell him because it's so secretive. Why is Gaelic not taught in schools? It is. There's a Gaelic school in Glasgow. Karaha, ooh, eh, hachama, hachamachi, farchi, farchi, kida, mili, farchi, rooney. Don TikTok, agus, scotchach, maklu. 
You're a good bloke, but stuck in your ways. No, you see, Mark, that's it. I'm not stuck in any ways. I'm just giving you the facts. There's the wonderful Kareem coming on, Dinky Do. And as usual, Kareem is so generous. What's been happening, Scotty? I had to pop off. There you are, writing to Phyllis saying, Are you IRA? No, I'm not any of these things. I am a political, but I just tell people the truth, and they don't always like it. So there we are. Um, the Irish Republican Brotherhood. That's right. Um, who's followed us? Has everybody followed us? What England did to Ireland was atrocious. What Ireland did to England was atrocious. Do you know what I mean? If you want to go down that road, you know, I think uh, bombing pubs, murdering aristocrats, um, you know, bombing prime ministers, you know, that's, that's pretty atrocious. That's what I would call atrocities. So there we go. Now, uh, who have we got here? Can you follow us, guys? Who have we got here? How much does the Royal Security cost the taxpayer each year, Scotty? About 168 million. But they bring in 2 billion. So you do the math. You know, I mean, you're you're well in profit. Uh, if you're, you're going to keep going down this road, Leighton, but you don't understand, you've got it wrong. Your head's stuffed with nonsense. The royals, the maximum cost of the royals to a taxpayer would be like a packet of crisps, 50p, 60p, that kind of thing. Can you say my name? I can, Max. There we are. Follow us, please, guys. Get Boyle. We're not having any of that. Off you go. There we are. A lot of lies. Now then, um... Dinky do, I worked with you at Rock FM, Red Rose and Preston, the repair shop. I love it. I say dinky do to you. How lovely to have you with us. You're old. No, I'm not old. I'm uh, 23. But I've had a very, very tough life. I'm a time traveler, you see. The emperor was a role, the emperor, the empire was a role model on how to set people against people. Well, I think they did that because it was a sort of uh, divide and conquer, Jed. Princess Anne's the hardest working royal before the Queen. Well, it may have escaped your notice, but the Queen's 95, I think, next week. So, you know, I mean, to ask her to do 500 gigs a year when she's been doing it for, what did we say? 70... 68 years, you know what I mean? Have I got that right? Yes, 68 years. So she's been doing it for 68 years. Could you put in 68 years of work and expect to still be, you know, getting driven to get out there and do your stuff? Princess Anne does 500 gigs a year. So does Prince Charles. Uh, what did Scotland do to England? Um, just supported it, sent it £75 billion pounds a year. Scotland doesn't have any guns. Well, they do, but not armed guns. Well, what would they want guns for? I mean, you know, we're not at war. <laughs> Squash or diluting juice? I can take both. Diluting juice, I would say, would be um, something like maybe lime cordial. I would call that diluting juice. Um, what I would do is squash. See, I don't even call it squash. I just think, right, do you want a dash of this in and some water? So there we are. Now, there's an idiot going, do you still work at mentioning Superstore? He's used to following junk. And he doesn't understand, Rick, it's something really stylish. Can I be a mod, Scotty, to remove the trolls? You know the facts, and I want to hear them. Absolutely. Not knowing history is the reason the world's in such an evil state of affairs. GD, you're 100% correct. That wee Irish guy that was calling me filthy loyalist because I was telling him the truth about his own country. <laughs> he didn't know. What three historical facts should all Brits know? Um, Scotty McClure is the world's top broadcaster. Scotty McClure is the first lord of the internet. Scotty McClure is the world's most humble man. And the fourth one, Scotty McClure pops up live on TikTok. There we are. That's what I think they should know.
I think they should also know um, what door what meadow we me, the motto of the Scottish crown. Nemo me impun la kesset. Nobody attacks me with impunity. The British crown, yes, on his soir qui mal pense, Dieu est mon droit. There we are. Scotty, the Queen's a great role model. But Charlie and Andrew are not good role models. Uh, in what way? I mean, Prince Charles is, is outstanding. You know, and Andrew, I was watching Andrew talking about his father today. Remember all that stuff that was flung at Andrew? None of that's been proven at all. You know what I'm saying? But people are people have got nasty minds. There was more than one or two catastrophes in Ireland caused by the British Empire. Tell us about them, Jon. What would you say? And there's more than one or two catastrophes caused in Britain by Ireland. You've got to remember, everybody in Britain is really originally from Ireland via, you were, well, from the African Rift Valley via Ireland. So, you know, I think we need to stop talking about them and us and talk about us. Us. The people. Yeah, not the British people or the Welsh people or the Scottish people, the Irish people, the Northern Irish people the Africans, the Indians, the people. Okay, politicians would just be in such a state if they couldn't divide. Get together. Uh, all the IRA wanted was a free country. Well, that's the wrong way to go about it, Cillian. If you want a free country, I'll tell you a man that they should have spoken to, Lord Mountbatten. Nobody knew more about oppressed peoples than Lord Mountbatten. The IRA was necessary, but they went too far. You know, I don't even know that they were necessary. You see? Sean McWackle, I know him. You will, Arthur. Uh, Prince Charles should not be king. William and Kate should take over. No, there's no reason why Prince Charles should not be king. Make a fabulous king. Very, very wise man. I don't rate the IRA uniforms. No, and yet I remember John Le Mesurer. Oh, my goodness me. I remember Jean Le Measure. What did I touch there? Hang on. I think I can see what's happened here. Hold on. Hold on. I remember uh, Jean Le Measure in Dad's army. And it was the German uniforms. And he said, he said to um, Captain Mannering, right? So what was he? Um, he was Sergeant Wilson. Sorry, I'm using the actor's name. Sergeant Wilson said to Captain Mannering, don't you think those German uniforms look awfully smart, sir? And Mannering went, <laughs> so that, no, Mark, I think, of course, Prince Charles should be king. Scotty, what about bloody Sunday? Thuggery. Well, the whole thing, Johnny boy, shouldn't really have happened, but people were firing at, uh, at the British forces. And um, that makes soldiers nervous, you know what I mean? Somebody was armed. Um, Ireland tried to join the Nazis, but they said they had nothing to offer them. Um, I think that's a bit harsh. What people don't know, and I can probably tell you on here, Eamon de Valera did so much for Britain, but he couldn't say or he would have lost face in Ireland. And Churchill said to him, you couldn't have done more for us, even if you'd come in with us. Yeah, because Eamon de Valera uh, allowed the BBC to reroute all their communications through Ireland. You see, but he couldn't get any credit from either side, the poor la. He couldn't really win either way. Hello, Mr. McClure, how are you from Kareem? Um, excellent, Kareem, thank you. So there we are. Irish Gaelics taught in all the schools. Good, good. Uh, were you in Port Sinn Féin in your youth? What are you talking about? There we are. So there we go. Guys, I don't know why you're attacking me. I'm only telling you the truth. You know what I mean? Scotty, you should be balanced when discussing the royals. Adulterers you ignored. Yeah, but I mean, families are families, Johnny boy. You know, and I mean, I think you might find if you looked anywhere. Remember, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. They're people. They're a family. 
The past behind us, absolutely. Now then, what have we got here? We're very balanced on here. Uh, we are the people, says Lee Boy. Yes, indeed. And I say, mon the hoops, Lee Boy, in the interest of balance. I'm a big fan of the monarchy, but Prince Andrew has to disappear. Why Scottish long? You know, as far as we know, he's not done anything wrong. What do you think of the UVF and the UDA? Well, I think they rose up because of the IRA. So you've got all that negativity that people couldn't get on with their political lives for. Hi, for the eighth day in a row, can you say supercalifragilistic XBL editions? Love that program. Evening from Beaumont in Isla, says the wonderful Ali McNeil. Hello, Ali. Kabraha u hakima maha. There we are. Falchi, Falchi. Ki demili Falchi. Uh, Scotty Princess, Ch Prince Charles cheated on Princess Diana. Is that a role model? Well, Princess Diana cheated on Prince Charles. Is that a role model? You know what I mean? That's the idea, you know. I mean, you see, the aristocracy have always had affairs, and the important thing was that the marriage should always stay intact. So a lot of these great big house parties, you know, I mean, I could tell you some stories, but I wouldn't. I'm not, uh, you know, so base as to do that. But uh, at the big aristocratic house parties, you know, there was a bit of bed hopping, but it didn't affect your marriage. People knew about it. Wives would say, oh, you weren't with her, were you? You know, husbands would say, oh, you weren't with him, were you, darling? For goodness sake, the man's a bounder. <laughs> so there we are. Scotty, just back from another firework display. There we are. I indeed. Are you um, a big Rangers man then? There we are. End the monarchy. No, no, you'll never, ever end the monarchy, Deeks. It's the curator and custodian of the crown. We will, we've always had a monarchy. So do you think that after 2,347 years, somebody like you is going to end the monarchy? Sober up. There we are. Uh, listen to this guy. I think you're a mason. Say anything about the royals you can see no wrong. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Martin. None of that makes any sense. Uh, the name cricket after JD is Crichton. God save our queen, says Lewis. Hello, Scotty. How are you, Mr. McClure? Kareem, Kareem, I thank you, you top man. How are things going on the house front? I mean, don't say too much. Just give us a nod. Scotty, bounce on for a wee game of Fortnite. Well, I only play Fortnite once a week. <laughs> I don't quite understand Fortnite, but I will have a look at it. Some changes are good. The problem is when they want to impose them. Cigar, clever, clever, clever person. Clever lady. How's it going, mate, from Australia? We love you in Australia. Fair dinkum cobber. Fantastic stuff. And uh, I hope all's dinky do with you down under. Scotty, I've heard of my pal, you know, Celtics, that you're a racist. No, Eva. Scotty McClure would never, ever, ever, ever be a racist because there is only one race, the human race. So you can't have racism. Do you see what I'm saying? So that's very offensive and very rude. And I think Celtic Glasgow has been a racist saying that. Yes, you go back and tell him to behave himself. All right, so there you are. You tell him there's only one race, the human race. Right, guys, I need followers, please. Can everybody follow? Follow, follow. You're watching Scott McClure, First Lord of the Internet. We're live on TikTok. There we are. Like and share all the videos. And then it's there, see? Apparently, you have to tap the little plus at the top. So if you go up to the top left, guys, let's have a follow fest. So there we are. So Eva, you go back to your repal and you tell him that he's a shocker. Was it true the U-boats were being fueled in Ireland? Um, not to my knowledge, there was talk of that. But remember, just like people coming on here, there would be a lot of negativity talked to try and 
big up the situation to try and divide. Uh, if you think he's done nothing wrong, you never watched the Carl Stash interview. No, I certainly wouldn't be watching that, Michael. He's certainly done nothing wrong. There we are. Oh, certainly nothing's been proven. I have a question. How are you doing? Ah, <laughs> Benro, what a lovely question to ask. I'm Dinky Doo. So there we are. Uh, Prince Andrew was an Epstein's Island, right? Yeah, but, you know, rich people hang about with rich people. Okay, Epstein was a real baddie, and we know that. And I don't know why. Prince Andrew would hang about with somebody like that. But as for all the accusations, nothing's been proven about that. So, you know, we know that. But this is negative stuff, guys. Let's discuss all the positive things. You know, let's talk about Prince Philip and all the wonderful... ...all the world. Do you know what I mean? Top man. That's what we're looking. So there we go. Ireland very much supported the Allies during World War II. Only the IRA, which was tiny, tried to cause trouble. Yeah, the IRA was just, they were kind of just a few pitchfork uh, crofters, weren't they, really, at that time? Does Ki Demili Falci mean the same in Scottish as it does in Irish? Of course it does, Mark. Ki Demili Falci don TikTok against Scotchach Macluch. There we are, 100,000 welcomes. They're all families that has its flaws, like every family, says Cillian. Cillian, you talk so much sense. Do you think Andrew's interview was a disaster? Not as much of a disaster as it made out, but I don't think he should have felt he had to do it. Do you see what I'm saying? You know, I mean, he was obviously trying to clear his name and explain about things, but... You've got two, you're talking to some very tiny minded people in this country who get an idea in their head and then they're fixed. And unlike Scotty McClure, they can't move and go, ah, so that's what happened. I never thought of that. Uh, what was the name of the actor that played Douglas Bader in the movie Reach for the Sky? That was Kenneth Moore, spelt M O R E, Kenneth Moore. Yes, Scotty and Kenneth Moore married the wonderful Angela Douglas when she was quite young and called her shrimp. Kenneth Moore, he was a wonderful man, Kenneth Moore. His autobiography is more or less. There we are. And there's a lovely scene uh, in Reach for the Sky. I could tell you the script for it. There's uh, a lovely scene in Reach for the Sky when they call in at the cricketers in Bagshot. And uh, in the movie... There's a waitress that serves them tea, cream or plain. And that waitress uh, ended up being married to Lord Rothermere. That was Bubbles Rothermere, uh, you know, Pat Rothermere, uh, who was that actress. And she married Lord Rothermere, who was uh, Harmsworth's, yes, the uh, encyclopedias and the Daily Mail. So there we are. Scotty, the strong of the gibby. Who would win? What do you mean at decorating the properties? Yes, at doing out the properties, who would win? Or who would win the egg and spoon race? Uh, so you're, welcome to today's sports now. Now we're going to roll in the egg down the hill. And we've got the strong in the left, the gibby in the right. You know, absolutely. I think, Johnny Boy, if we're talking Scottish country dancing, they would both do very well. Please tell me what you remember reporting in the Falklands War. Uh, during the Falklands War, I was working for an opera company. So there we go. Uh, do you think Scotland will be split like Ireland if it gets independence? Unionists on one side. Well, you see, if you're going to have an independent Scotland, what's the point in a unionist? Do you see what I mean? And why would you be a unionist anyway? So I think the Conservative Party should just call themselves the Conservative Party and should back Scottish independence. Because unionists, the union is built on sand. It has never worked. It's worked very well for the Westminster government because they're able to suck the life out of Scotland financially and economically. But
But there's no case for the union because it was built on lies and deceit and backhanders and jiggery-pokery. So nothing new there. Uh, now then, uh, have a lovely, well-maintained man shed, Scotty. Some nice memorabilia. Yes, Jefferson. Oh, yes, I bet you have a lovely, well-maintained man shed. Oh, yes. Hello from Alaska. Hello, Alaska. I have once had baked Alaska, the ice cream inside the meringue. Tell me this. How is the weather in Alaska, Pepe? Can you tell us, please? Hello from hello Monaghan, Ireland. Hello, Kenneth. Uh, so there we are. We've done reach for the sky. Scotty, the west of Scotland's a poison place when football or politics are discussed. It doesn't need to be, Johnny Boy. We need to change that. We need people saying, this is my Presbyterian friend. I am a devout Catholic. I am a devout Presbyterian. This is my Catholic brother. You know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Willie Gallagher says, dinky-doo. I thank you, Scotty. Uh, Roger Moore, I just thought of it. Who's Roger Moore? What in? Many countries have you been to? Ooh, not as many as I'd like to have been to. Dinky-doo, Scotty McClure says, Sarah. So there we are. This man is defending a bunch of pedophones. No, this man is not. This man is just telling the truth, Lewis. Okay? So time you grew up and learned a thing or two about the truth. Stopped making it up. Right, that's that. There it goes. Okay, who have we got here? Yes, he's gone. That's it. We don't want that. Isn't it interesting? The one positive thing that we have, and uh, people try to be negative. You're not allowed. We won't have it. There's another one there. Mo, Mo, you have to go because you're a wee troll. We don't like you. Right, Mo's gone for trolling. Uh, excellent stuff. Now, how are we doing for time? Half past seven. Right, we'll maybe see you later, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a fantastic live. Wonderful, wonderful people. And uh, we will catch up later. Please follow me. Look at every single one of the videos. Chronic. I'll just dump you for being an idiot, if that's okay. Chronic Sheesh the Idiot. There we are, back Sheesh, he's gone. Okay. Uh, follow us uh, as much as you can. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Avita Zing. Au revoir and a cheery oh. Thank you, Sandra. Dinky do, everybody. From Scotty McClure, take great care of your dear selves. Stay wonderful, stay fabulous, stay safe, and stay you. It's a great thing to be. Ta-ra, love.